bloodhunder will slaughter. Welcome back to another video and I had just recorded this video however I'm going to redo it now because of new content so if you go onto EA's website you will see that they have new information about a new Bloodhound town takeover which is so cool because we had just got a new animated video from Apex which is in other stories of the Outlands and is called The Old Ways. So this event is called The Town's Trail in the Old Ways Lore Event. And with this will bring us new exclusive items to unlock. I guess this event is a new improved Legendary Hunt event which is out in Season 1 and also was a Bloodhound event. However, this one seems to be a lot better. But on the Apex website it says, When the Apex games came to World's Edge, large predators vacated the area leading to an explosion in the prowlers population prowlers are these monsters they are the small ones and i really hope they're not like flyers because in king's canyon flyers didn't really do anything they made a noise and squealed around when you were near them and they gave away your position they also carried death boxes but they didn't attack you or anything and that's kind of what i wanted them to do because they don't really serve a purpose otherwise in my opinion. I don't know, I just felt like they were misused I guess. But continuing with what's on the website, most were traced to a nest in the northwest portion of the arena and here Bloodhound saw an opportunity by pitting humans against beasts. Dive into Bloodhound's trail where you and your squad battle against a horde of prowlers and claim high tier loot as your reward. But be aware the most dangerous game fellow legends who want to scavenge those goods for themselves. In moments of quiet, don't forget to explore the enclosure, especially with a certain hunter at your side. So I'm guessing for this event you will want a bloodhound on your squad. <laughs> so the way that we get the cosmetic rewards in this game is pretty much the same as the Grand Soiree and the System Override event. So there will be some free rewards that you can get and some paid ones. And it looks like the free rewards are a gun charm, a Gibraltar skin, and also a weapon skin, which is very cool. <laughs> and they've done a little thing that is different in this event too, where they're letting you do direct purchases from the shop for the cosmetic items. So from the 7th to the 11th of April, we will see two Bloodhound skins, a Havoc skin, and a Watson skin all in the store. However, from the 12th to the 16th of April, the town skin will still be there. However, there will be a charge rifle skin, a prowler skin, and a crypto skin. And from the 17th to the 21st, we will see Bloodhound again, the same Bloodhound skin, and a Mozambique skin, a Eve 8 skin, and also a Bloodhound frame. However, there will also be a few more items into the shop. This is the return of Legendary Hunt skins, which was a Season 1 event. So all of the original Legendary Hunt skins will be available, I believe. However, there are two recolored variants. So this is the Wraith skin and the R301 skins that have been recolored. And these were the Battle Pass exclusives too. Of course, these will require you to pay for them as well. And from the first week, the Wraith skin, the R301 and Octane skin will all be in the store. And then after that, we'll have the Bangalore skin, a Spitfire skin and a Caustic skin. The week after this will be Lifeline, Mirage and a Flatline skin. And then on the final week, we will have a Pathfinder skin, a Return of the Wraith skin and a Return of the R301 skin. <laughs> and that's it for all of the items. <laughs> and basically everything we know about the event so far. So before I started to re-record this video, I was talking about the new animated video and just explaining a few things in there that I thought about and was kind of explaining. So I'm just going to talk about them again right now and just point out a few things that I thought was cool basically. But this animated video is basically all about Bloodhound lore and basically how they became Bloodhound. 
but I'm going to briefly go over this. <laughs> However, we first see Bloodhound right here, and yes, Bloodhound is female, was born female. However, they class themselves as non-binary, so they refer to themselves as they and them, basically. So I'm going to respect that, and that's why I'm calling them them. <laughs> However, right next to them, we have their uncle, who is called Arthur, and do you see the connection there? Because Arthur is their uncle and their raven is called Arthur. So I guess that was sort of obvious from the start, at least when you first hear Bloodhound call their uncle Arthur. However, from that moment, you realize that Arthur, her uncle, is going to die because why else would Bloodhound call their raven after their uncle? <laughs> but as was mentioned on the Apex website, Prowlers are small monsters, which are these which are in the trailer, and we also saw another monster called the Rika Yotun, which I'm not sure I pronounced correctly, probably didn't, but that's how I'm going to pronounce it. <laughs> and that's this big monster right here who I found very creepy, and if this monster appeared in game, oh my gosh, it would actually scare the hell out of me, because there is one scene where it chases Bloodhound, and I have like a fear of being chased I guess. I know that's kind of weird to say but <laughs> I don't like it at all. I find it very scary. I don't know it just gives me anxiety. I don't like it. <laughs> but if this monster was in game oh my gosh that would cause some very interesting gameplay I guess. <laughs> but to be honest I kind of do want to see Rico Yotun in game as well and this cave area kind of looks like it could be an area in the game too so maybe this is part of the new area and I also hope that this foresty area that we've seen here is in game as well and what's cool is that they've taken Bloodhound skin in this trailer and made a version for Bloodhound in game too so it's young Bloodhound and I wonder whether we'll ever see a Bloodhound skin without his helmet. However, what I did notice in the animated video is when Bloodhound goes to kill Rika Yotun, that Arthur comes in and shows him basically to hit the coolant pipe and that's what causes everything to freeze. And at this point, Bloodhound picks up a mask and you see later on at the funeral scene that Bloodhound has cracks on their skin and they still have the mask around their mouth too so I wonder if their lungs have been impaired by the coolant maybe that's a reason why he still keeps a gas mask on I guess I guess similar to Caustic <laughs> but I don't know I would really like to see one without his mask however if you think about it if Bloodhound did have a helmetless mask then that would mean their voice would have to change because their voice won't be affected by the mask anymore and that would mean reading out a whole new set of voice lines in a different voice and now that I say that out loud I don't think they'll do that. <laughs> they probably won't do a helmetless mask now unless they just keep their voice the same however that's very unlikely because their voice has changed because of the mask. Also, did you notice this character standing right here with a helmet that Bloodhound has on two of their legendary skins? <laughs> I just thought that was something cool that they incorporated and I guess it's like part of their clan. And another thing that I just wanted to mention is that when Bloodhound kills Rika Yotun, or at least it's implied that they do, they're holding their axe and that's their heirloom too, which is from Arthur, which is really cute, but not what I wanted to mention. <laughs> but town says for Arthur just before they kill Rika Yotun, and it made me think of when Bloodhound says for Arthur in one of the previous trailers just before he shot Pathfinder and I thought that was really interesting because now you know why he said that and why he did it because they were against machines basically and were hunters using traditional weapons, like their axe for example. Bloodhound's uncle was very traditional and it kind of reminded me of How to Train Your Dragon <laughs> because it was like the uncle was the dad and Bloodhound was Hiccup and Bloodhound likes dragons or at least in How to Train Your Dragon if Bloodhound was Hiccup and the father <laughs> doesn't so it was like, I don't know, I saw a connection there. <laughs> 
And it also seems similar to Horizon Zero Dawn too, where, where Aloy picked up that little device thing that she puts on the side of her head. I don't know what it's called, I can't remember. <laughs> and her father figure, I forgot his name, sorry, but he didn't like it because he was traditional too, but in this scenario, Arthur's traditional and Bloodhound picked up the gun, which kind of caused him to be exiled, but I liked that they resolved it to before Arthur died, which was obvious was going to happen. And sorry that I'm rambling on about stuff that you might not care about, but I don't know, I just wanted to point it out. It's just because it was like that's the reason that Bloodhound is in the Apex games now, because of machines and he doesn't really like them. And the fact that this season is all about machines is quite funny too. But I almost hate it basically. <laughs> there are probably a few other things that I missed out too, but if there's anything else that you would like to add to what I said, please write it down in the comments too. I read all of your comments and try to reply to them, so yeah, comment if you want. And also I hope you like the Silver Age Watson Speed Paint. This is my latest art piece which I mentioned in my last video and thank you all to everyone who's recently subbed because of that probably and if you just randomly stumbled across my channel too thank you so much for stopping by and hitting that sub button too if you did <laughs> but i did do a poll on twitter to ask whether you wanted to see this watson speed paint or my bangalore art that i did previously of her killer machine skin and majority of you said watson which i wasn't surprised about to be honest but i was actually surprised of how many people said they wanted to see the bangalore speed paint instead <laughs> i was actually quite shocked about that but because i thought it was going to be much less but surprisingly it wasn't but i will upload the bangalore speed paint at some point and I'm currently drawing more art too, so there'll be speed paints in the future of other things as well. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to end this video here because that's basically everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video and stay safe <laughs> and I'll see you next time. Bye!